distinguished uh, guest, uh, Mr. Chua, sisters and brothers. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the organizing committee for inviting me to do this uh, first address of this uh, program uh, or we call it inaugural speech. Anyway, I would like to talk a uh, few things in general. Then I may have to read something. Uh, and uh, you don't have to worry, I am not taking long time for that. Huh? Uh, because you are waiting to listen to very distinguished guest, uh, I should not take their time by talking too much. Huh? Uh, before I read my speech, actually I am always reluctant to read the speeches, but uh, today I have to do. Uh, especially I am very uh, nervous in front of very distinguished uh, scholars. Huh? Uh, anyway, I want to say something very general uh, before the speech. Uh, as you all know, Buddhism has uh, survived more than 25 centuries. And uh, I'm not trying to boast about Buddhism. But without going to wars, without using weapons to protect Buddhism, but sometimes now we hear some trouble here and there, but they are very minor problems. But Buddhism survived uh, so many centuries under very serious threats, uh, even under very serious attacks, uh, destructions, Yet, still Buddhism is one of the main religions it served to millions of people. Today also it is serving to millions of people. <coughs> what is the power behind this? Uh, all this long survival and still uh, maintain a position of a living religion. I think there is mainly compassion because of great compassion Buddhism survived, Buddhism remained as a great religion even today. So when we talk about Compassion in Buddhism, two personalities or two figures are very outstanding. One is the Buddha. We know about his compassion. When we talk about Buddhism, we know about two great pillars, two important pillars of Buddhism. Buddhism, uh, started to spread and spreading because of two great pillars. One is compassion, the other one is wisdom. Pragna, karuna and pragna. Karun, karuna is compassion. Anya or pragna is wisdom. My personal feeling is if Buddhism started only with Panya or wisdom, it would not survive this long. It may disappear immediately after the Buddha, but it survived because of great compassion. We remember the Buddha because of his great compassion. I think you have heard about Pancheka Buddhas. Uh, we call, some people call private Buddha. 
I am not going to explain who is Prime uh, Manjai Kapoorza. If anybody is not familiar, please ask others. Huh? Uh, generally, we say Pachyaka Buddha is the person attained enlightenment by his own effort, but he does not preach. Uh, he found his own salvation with his own effort. Anybody has, I do not know about Mahayana Buddhist, anybody has uh, offered even one oil lamp, one lotus, or even a simple wildflower? to respect Achyaka Buddha, hard to find, because he attained enlightenment uh, and lived, passed away. But the Buddha, we remember, we offer so much to the Buddha, sometimes I feel too much. Huh? Uh, uh, we don't know the limit when we are offering to to the Buddha. Why? Because of compassion. He sacrificed his time with uh, compassion. Led their life to serve people. Uh, attainment of enlightenment to passing away. The other figure, the other personality I remember is one name, Pusa. When I talk about compassion, uh, the belief, faith in one name also help for the survival of Buddhism until today. So, when we talk about the Buddha and one name, I can say because of these two characters, and the faith towards these two characters help Buddhism to survive until today as a living religion. I have been to China quite a number of times. Uh, then I visited many temples and other places, not as a special guest, but as an ordinary person. Then I managed to see those places in a better way. I visited one temple in Beijing, which has a very beautiful Kwanim statue. Many Kwanim worshippers used to go. Another temple with a very beautiful figure or statue of a Kwanim in uh, Shanghai. Extremely crowded. Very, very crowded. I was very surprised because I have read about cultural revolution. What happened during the cultural revolution? Some people tried to uh, totally uproot Buddhism or worshipping uh, Place, uh, places of worship, but even that very strong, fearful, destructive cultural revolution could not destroy Buddhism because you can destroy temples, you can destroy images, you can destroy arts, but religion survive in our hearts. So the Chinese people's heart, Buddhism survived in Chinese people's heart in China. Many elderly people come and worship in those places because now China has changed, you all know. Huh? Uh, they come and worship. Even younger generation also has, uh, have started to come to temples and worship, uh, especially uh, temples where one worship is existing are, those, uh, are very, very popular. So, one the worshiping one and the faith in one help a lot to maintain Buddhist thoughts in our hearts.
because when we worship only we have a kind of hope. Huh? When we associate with people who are belong to some other religions, in a way I am not supposed to talk much about other religions. Huh? Uh, they talk with us very nicely, ask about the Buddha, then, uh, then they know, they, they say, oh, Buddha is very great. He has taught a very beautiful teaching, but he is a man. Uh, what is so great about the man? Uh, 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 so, he is not a god. He cannot save people. All these things come out from them. I hardly go to arguments with them. Sometimes I argue with them, but it's a per it, can be a, it is a personal argument. But here I am not going to say what well, I, I used to tell them. But one thing is, nobody can say just because Buddha was born as a prince or as a human being, Buddhism is not the religion. Uh, in Buddhist teaching, there is a uh, path of salvation. I am not going to talk about path of salvation, which we can find in teachings of the Buddha. Uh, I think all of you know. The other hand, uh, especially in many countries, uh, uh, where people practice Mahayana Buddhism, Buddhism is really a religion. One of the main reasons for me to call Buddhism is really a religion. Of course, it has other aspects, philosophical aspects and other aspects. I can say Buddhism is also a really religion, greater religion, because compassion aspect exists very clearly. So where that compassion aspect of Buddhism is clearly exists with only worship because of the faith uh, people have developed towards money. Pani is a person, according to our beliefs, uh, worshippers' beliefs, uh, come to help us in any moment. Whenever we need help, Pani comes to save people. <coughs> so people expect uh, and people have some hopes. Um, I can see some people, not Buddhists, put their cars or vehicles behind. Uh, there is a hope. Actually, we Buddhists also can put, I don't ask anybody to do it. We have a hope. The clearest hope is Kwani for Buddhists who believe in Kwani. Uh, whenever they have problems, whenever they have difficulties, they can think of Pani, Pani is help. I can tell you, it is not a help, but Pani can do some uh, special things sometimes, uh, uh, miracles also, something related to my life, I will tell you. Uh, you know, I am very fond of having funding statues. I have at least two dozen of different kind of funding statues. Uh, it is not as uh, souvenirs. Now, some people keep Buddha statue, funding statue, as souvenirs. No. With respect, I keep them. With appreciation, I have collected them. Uh, so, uh, when I see a Kwanim statue, I feel very good. I feel calm and tranquil. Uh, I heard about Pandit uh, Jawaharlal Nehru, uh, former Prime Minister of uh, 
uh, first Prime Minister of India. He was keeping a Buddha statue in his bedroom because when he got up, first thing he wanted to see is one in the stand, the Buddha stand. Then he feel good. Huh? Uh, I have in a way similar feelings. When I look at Kwan Yin statue, I feel good. It is not only for me. I think millions of people who have Kwan faith feel very good when they see statue of Kwan because it is a symbol of great compassion. I don't know who created this statue, but it is a wonderful art piece, wonderful creation also. So, uh, wherever I go, I look for one in statues. Uh, if I see a uh, very nice statue, I buy, I take it. So, in Singapore, once I went to, I wanted to find a nice one in statue, I went to find a number of shops. In the end, I went to a shop where there was a there is a very beautiful funding statue. I wanted to buy, then uh, I see the price also very high. Huh? <laughs> uh, maybe I am a bit stingy, but generally I am not stingy to get funding uh, statues. I thought next time I will come and get it. I don't want at the moment. Then the owner, owner is a lady, she came and asked Bhante, uh, uh, what are you searching for? I said, no, I just uh, came to see one of the statues, and this statue is very nice. Uh, I was looking at it, and uh, she said, do you want to get it? I said, no, no, I don't want it now. I went back. But after a few days, that lady came with the funding statue to our Buddhist library. Huh? Uh, she may have thought, read my thoughts, or funding may have <laughs> asked her <laughs> to send the statue to my place. So I wanted to pay, but she didn't want to take anything. Huh? Also because of the compassion of funding. So, uh, Kwanim uh, worship and belief in Kwanim or faith in Kwanim has helped the Buddhist world almost equally like Buddha's great compassion. When we look at Buddha's character, we can see this compassion element very clearly. Uh, if you have read about routine, daily routine of the Buddha, you should know it. He worked according to a routine, very well planned routine. Early morning, before starting to do anything, after he got up early morning, he looked at the world. When we talk about money, we use the word Avalokiteshwar, looking at the world. I don't like to use the word looking down now, <laughs> or look down. Uh, so, Pani also, she has 1,000 eyes. Professor, you can correct me if I'm wrong. 1,000 eyes and 1,000 hands. Look at, not just to look at and help. Uh, so, Sakyamuni Buddha, or oh, uh, fully enlightened Buddhas, uh, have this quality. Uh, uh, when the Buddha got up, he used to look at the world. Who is uh, urgently in need of my help? Who is in trouble? I should go and help. That's how the Buddha helped uh, Angulimala and saved mother, uh, his mother also. Many people were saved by the Buddha, helped by the Buddha because of that compassionate act. 
So the same uh, way of attending to people can be seen in Annim's character. Huh? So Annim worship, Annim faith became very, very uh, popular until today popular. Uh, that popularity is growing, that is the most important thing. It is growing even to the west. Huh? Uh, Sri Lanka is a, in a way typical Theravada country. Huh? I am also a Theravada monk, but I am not a typical Theravada monk. Huh? <laughs> so, uh, in Sri Lanka also, uh, we have uh, our Avalokiteshwara worship is same. Huh? There are statues, well known Avalokiteshwara statues in few places. And uh, next to Dutralik Temple, Dutralik Temple is the most famous temple in Sri Lanka. Next to Dutralik Temple, there is a uh, place, shrine for Avalokiteshwara. And during Kandy procession time, it is also a very famous cultural procession. They carry uh, Avalokiteshwara statue with the procession, with the relics, then other ornaments of certain deities. So Avalokiteshwara uh, statue and some ornaments of Avalokiteshwara deity, they carry with the procession. Um, so it is still a practice and uh, it is popular. We call Avalokiteshwara, we call as Avalokiteshwara, then we call uh, Lokeshwara Natha also, Natha uh, Deity, Natha Bodhisattva. Huh? Uh, so I think I am taking down so, so much time. Huh? Actually, I forgot to read the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know why uh, I have difficulties to read that? Uh, but I must say, I consulted our professor, Professor Chandima, uh, about this talk and he helped me a lot. I'm thankful to him also for helping uh, me. Uh, uh, thank you all. So, we resigned uh, these words together. Namo Pansai Pusan. Namo I am not worshipping to the statue, huh? I am worshipping that great bodhisattva quality, quality of compassion. Huh? Thank you, Venerable. Thank you. Thank you.